we've only explored a small portion of our world. Which means we've only just begun to discover new and exciting animals. But isn't it strange that there are animals we know exist but rarely get the opportunity to see? From a mysterious pink fairy armadillo to a terrifying bird, here are 15 wild animals that have rarely ever been seen. Number 15. Fennec Fox are you bored of owning cats or dogs? Want something a little different? Well, a fennec fox may just be the next best thing. That is, if you can find one of these hard to spot animals. The fennec fox is a canine from Africa that, believe it or not, can make the perfect pet. They are about two or three pounds, have six inch long ears, and can be trained to use a litter box. They can even eat a high quality cat or dog food if owning one is legal in your neck of the woods. Fennec foxes purr when they're happy, and they are very social animals. They're also classed as the smallest wild canid and are threatened in the wild. Those who own this rare animal do have to put a little extra effort into caring for them, but they can definitely be worth it. For example, you have to keep the air temperature above 68 degrees or they get cold. They can also dig up to 20 feet, so outdoor enclosures have to be well thought out. In captivity, the fennec fox can live for up to 14 years. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. No, you're not seeing things. This shark really does have more than one head. There are four in the front and another on the back of its body. Even though this image is from the movie Five-Headed Shark, scientists actually think that something similar may have existed before. So this might actually be one of the rarest wild animals that has rarely been seen. Could there actually be multi-headed sharks like this one hidden in our oceans? You be the judge. Let us know if you think that sharks like this may have once existed. Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Axolotl. The reason why you're unlikely to run into an axolotl salamander very often is that they're found exclusively near Mexico City in the lake complex of Xochimilco. That means you can't just wander down to your local body of water and stumble across one. Axolotls are pretty exciting little critters. They retain their larval features, which means they have a dorsal fin like a tadpole and feathery gills, but they also have legs. They even live permanently in water, so they lurk around the canals and lakes of Xochimilco. Axolotls are also related to the tiger salamander, and they are usually mottled brown or black. Captive specimens can sometimes be white. Even though they can grow up to about a foot long, most tend to be around half that. They can also live for up to around 15 years and feed on worms, crustaceans, fish, insect larvae, and mollusks. Believe it or not, axolotls can make excellent pets, but they're just not something that you see all that often in the wild or even in someone's home aquarium setup. Number 13. Goblin Shark if you've never heard of a goblin shark, or even seen photos of one, then there's a reason for that. They are a wild animal that has rarely ever been seen. They often get called a living fossil, and their lineage dates back around 125 million years. They also more than live up to their name of goblin as well, because they aren't exactly the prettiest creatures of the deep. A saying comes to mind, the goblin shark has a face for radio, or YouTube list videos. They have pink skin, a flattened snout, and a protruding jaw with teeth like nails. They can also grow up to 13 feet long, but who knows, they may grow bigger but we just haven't seen enough of them to know. They live at depths greater than 330 feet, and the younger goblin sharks tend to live closer to the surface than adults. Researchers have tried to collect live goblin sharks and learn more about them, but they just don't tend to live very long. 
For example, one managed to only live for a week at Tokai University, and another only lasted two days at Tokyo Sea Life Park. Number 12. Pink Fairy Armadillos Armadillos are pretty impressive little critters. After all, how many animals can you think of that look like they have suits of armor on their back? But then you see a pink fairy armadillo and this six inch long animal just takes it to the next level. It has a pink bony shell on its back and a white furry body. It's also the smallest of all 20 different armadillo varieties. But if you think you can find the pink fairy armadillo roaming around anywhere, then you'd be wrong. Scientists actually don't know all too much about them because they're quite elusive. They are nocturnal and found only in Central America. They also burrow underground and aren't seen too often by anyone. Unfortunately, they're not only hard to find because they live underground, but because their homes are under threat as well. Much of their habitat is being made into farmland. Field plowing and cattle grazing, not to mention pesticides that kill their food supply, are putting their population under threat. It may not be all that long until you never get the opportunity to see a pink fairy armadillo. Number 11. Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko Even if you've been near dozens of satanic leaf-tailed geckos, you may have never known. These little geckos are so good at camouflaging that you just think they're part of the tree they're hanging out in. The satanic leaf-tailed gecko is from a family of 14 different species, but it is definitely one of the more elusive ones. You can only find it in Madagascar, if you can find it, and they only come out at night to hunt. Given how hard they are to spot, researchers aren't 100% sure what their diet consists of in the wild. They seem to think they feast mainly on insects, but they also eat flies, spiders, snails, and cockroaches when kept in captivity. Their entire bodies look like dead leaves, and the detailing is out of this world. They have leaf veins, a leaf-like skin structure, and a variety of colors like gray, beige, and brown, with green spots that look like lichen. They even adapt their body coloring based on their environment. There's no denying that this wild animal is not one that you'll likely spot by accident on any outdoor adventures. Number 10. Blue Sea Dragon If you've ever seen a blue sea dragon washed up on a beach, they'd stand out like a sore thumb. They are a vibrant blue color and definitely don't blend in with sand and driftwood. But put them in the ocean and they are something that you'll rarely see. They have the uncanny ability to be able to blend in with the blue shades of the sea and the sky. Blue sea dragons are actually quite rare in the respect that you don't see them all that often when exploring the ocean. They live on the sea floor, but will sometimes swallow air bubbles to float to the surface. The first mention of them was in 1705, and researchers have been learning more and more about them as the years go by. Even if you do spot one though, don't be in too much of a hurry to touch them. They eat the stinging cells of blue bottles, which allows them to produce a sting from their tips. While they don't always sting someone that touches them, do you really want to take the risk? It's best to view these exciting critters from afar. Number 9. Proboscis Monkeys even though the population of proboscis monkeys is decreasing, that's not actually why they're a wild animal that's rarely been seen. Instead, you won't come across them because they are native to Borneo. They are endemic to Borneo's jungles and tend to live around swamps, coastal mangroves, and rivers. Sometimes they'll explore land for food but tend to stick to the same area. They also live in organized harem groups, which means they have one dominant male and up to seven females. <laughs> along with their offspring. Out of all monkey types, they are some of the best swimmers, and they even love to play around by jumping from trees and belly flopping into the water. Thanks to their webbed hands and feet, they can also outpace crocodiles, which are their main predators. If you're lucky enough to spot this animal in Borneo, then it won't be hard to identify it as a proboscis monkey. They grow up to 28 inches and weigh up to 50 pounds. The males tend to be a lot bigger than the females. They also have light brown fur with a reddish hue and gray tails, legs, and arms. Number 8. The Shoebill 
If we were to tell you that birds can eat crocodiles, then you'd probably call us liars. And in most cases, you'd be right. What kind of mutant bird could jump down on a crocodile? The shoebill. That's what. Even though this is a wild animal you would rarely see, you probably aren't going to be all that sad about that fact. They are easily one of the most terrifying bird species on Earth. <laughs> and grow up to around five feet tall. That's gonna be a no for me, dog. The shoebill lives in swampy areas of eastern tropical Africa. For the most part, they eat catfish, eels, and lungfish. But they also don't say no to a dinner at snake, lizard, or baby crocodile. How they do it is incredible. They'll stand still like a statue, then wait for some unfortunate, unsuspecting victim to appear. Then the shoe bill pounces with its huge bill open, chomping down on the animal and swinging it around in its mouth. It then quickly decapitates its prey and devours it. Yeah, we're definitely in no hurry to see this bird for ourselves. Number seven, Saiga antelope. Out of all mammals to roam this earth, the Saiga antelope has reported the fastest decline of any species. While there used to be millions of them roaming around North America and Europe, around 95% of Saiga antelopes are now gone. In 2015, around two-thirds of the entire Saiga antelope population, about 200,000, died. In a matter of weeks, a bacterial infection wiped them out before anyone could do anything about it. Because of that, they are classed as critically endangered. Now, there are about 100,000 of them left in pockets of Eurasia. Whereas before, they would be found all around Kazakhstan, Georgia, and Mongolia. Saiga antelope used to live alongside saber-toothed tigers and mammoths. They would thrive and survive in harsh areas that other animals couldn't manage, and would migrate from summer pastures to winter pastures. They were as hardy as they come. But between the illness and the economic downfall of the USSR, not to mention illegal poaching for horns, who knows how much longer this graceful animal's gonna last. Fortunately, conservationists are stepping in to try and increase their numbers. Number six, the I.I. The I.I. is probably not an animal you've ever heard of. You're even less likely to have seen it. This animal, while it doesn't look like it, is actually a primate. It's related to chimps, apes, and humans, and is only found in Madagascar. They have beautiful large ears, large eyes, long fingers, and bushy tails that are far too long for their bodies. They are also black or brown and have pointed claws that let them dangle from trees. Most people will never see eye eyes for themselves, and there are a couple of reasons why. The first is that they spend the majority of their lifetime in rainforest trees. They rarely spend time on solid ground. They are also nocturnal, so they'll hang out in their leafy nest hidden away from prying eyes. The other reason is that their population is dwindling. Many people native to Madagascar see them as omens of bad luck, so they used to kill them on sight. Now they are protected by law. However, their habitat is also at risk, which puts added strain on their dwindling numbers. Number 5. The Northern Bald Ibis if you're an avid bird watcher and haven't come across a northern bald ibis, then don't feel bad. Most people won't see this bird for themselves in their lifetime. The northern bald ibis comes from Europe and has a black body, a long, curved beak, and a bald head with a mohawk. It's like the punk rocker of the bird world. If you see it flying overhead, you're more likely to mistake it for a crow. That is, until it lands, of course. It is critically endangered in the wild, but used to be prominent throughout Europe, Arabia, Asia, Northern Africa, and Eastern Africa. It even dates back to ancient Egyptian times, according to the imagery of this bird in early hieroglyphics. Today, there are fewer than 1,000 in existence. There's about 600 left in Morocco and a few more in Eastern Africa. There used to 
to be some in Syria, but the bird is now extinct there. Given the rarity of this bird, there are reintroduction projects underway to at least bolster its dwindling population. Who knows, in the years to come you may just see more of these magnificent birds flying around parts of Europe and the northern fringe of the Alps. Number 4. The Jamaican Iguana if you've been hunting high and low for the elusive Jamaican iguana, then you're out of luck. Not only is it critically endangered, but you'll also only find it in the limestone outcrops, tropical dry forests, and hellshire fields of Jamaica. Even then, they only live at elevations below 650 feet, which makes it even more challenging to spot one. In 1948, this docile critter was declared extinct, in part due to deforestation and non-native animals like pigs, cats, and dogs. There he sees them. But then, in 1990, a small population of them was discovered. Now, there are up to around 200 in the wild, and more in captive breeding programs. They grow up to about 16 inches, and they mainly feed on fruit, flowers, and leaves. They can live for around 20 years, but their reproduction rates are not the best. They can lay up to 20 eggs, but it takes about 87 days for them to hatch. The success of the hatch can depend on rainfall and the female's body size. With the odds stacked against this iguana, you're unlikely to ever see one in person. Number 3. Blue-Footed Boobies As hilarious as the name of this bird is, its plight is less hilarious. This wild animal is one you will rarely see, because its numbers are plummeting. You can only find it in the Galapagos Islands and specific parts of South America's Pacific Coast. It's a tropical bird with blue webbed feet that doesn't fare all too well on land. It's a little bit clumsy, which is potentially how it got its name. Bobo apparently means stupid fellow in Spanish. They can measure up to 35 inches tall with a wingspan of up to 5 feet, and they lay around 3 eggs at a time. When all the chicks hatch, it's not uncommon for there to be cases of siblicide when food is scarce. Given the dwindling numbers, researchers looked into why that is. As it turns out, these cute little birds are having trouble breeding. A decline in sardines, which is one of their primary food sources, may also be contributing to their unwillingness to breed. Things aren't looking great for the blue-footed boobies, and if we rarely get to see one now, then I hate to think about what the future looks like. Number 2. New Bird of Paradise Species This bird of paradise is so cool that you'd probably want one as a pet, but unfortunately, you can't have one. Hey, listen, we didn't make the rules. This hard-to-find bird is both spectacular in its looks and its personality. Males have a huge black cape that's blacker than black and a vibrant blue breastplate along with blue eyes. When they want to attract the attention of the ladies, they put on some smooth dance moves and dance their way around a female in a semi-circular motion. He even shimmies his little feet. Once he woos her, he's in with a chance. Up until recently, this striking bird was thought to be one of 43 birds of paradise. But as it turns out, it's a unique type of bird called the Vogelkop Supreme Bird of Paradise. Aside from a few small differences in their looks, their dance moves are different from other birds of paradise species as well. Some bend their knees and bounce, while the Vogelkop will shuffle and glide. They also sing a little differently from other species as well. Number 1. Patagonia Mara If you're traveling around central and southern Argentina anytime in the future, then you may be fortunate enough to come across the Patagonia Mara. This near-threatened animal's like a mashup of several different animals, which makes it quite intriguing to look at. Basically, this little critter looks like it's the result of a hare or rabbit getting a bit too friendly with a deer. It has long legs, the body of a hoofed animal, long ears, a short tail, and a 27-inch body. They usually weigh up to around 35 pounds. They also have four toes on each front foot, but three on their hind feet. All of their toes have incredibly sharp claws. 
The Patagonia Mara can walk, hop, stot, or gallop, so they get around in many different ways. They tend to travel in mated pairs and mate for life. Everything about this creature is interesting, but you don't often see them out in the wild. They prefer to live in grasslands and bushland, but drift around depending on where they can find the most food to eat. Isn't it amazing that we know these animals exist, but we rarely get the opportunity to see them in person? How many of these animals have you seen for yourself? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!